Good morning, everyone. Hello, welcome to Zwift Community Live. My name is Ian Anderson, and today we're doing a racer focus here on the virtual cycling platform Zwift. Looks like we're all systems go on the technology. So sit back, relax. We've got three minutes to go. Quite the race set up for you today. Four laps, flat reverse. And uh, looking forward to a flat race because I am a big guy. And I don't go up the hills so well because I weigh a lot. So if you're watching this later on, if you're just joining us for the first time, let me explain a little bit about what's going on. All these avatars you see on your screen are real people connected to bikes like mine. These are bikes that we can ride outside. They're connected to computers, iOS devices, Apple TVs, whatever, via wireless signal. It's the same sort of signal that records data from like heart rate straps, speed sensors. Uh, it's Bluetooth or uh, ANT Plus, two different wireless protocols. And basically the game takes all that information. It takes your height, your weight, the wheels you're riding on in the game, the, the bike you've chosen in the game. And all of that is uh, factored into the calculation of how fast you're going. So that's Zwift in a nutshell. If you wanna find out more, head over to Zwift.com. Z-W-I-F-T and the way we're using this platform today is a virtual race. This is a community run uh, event. So we have coordinated with Zwift to get a specific course, certain characteristics of this ride and as soon as the gate opens in about a minute we will all be sent along our merry way in a race. We've got Mr. Brown and Mr. Orange today, the dynamic duo from Reservoir Cogs. I'm on a virtual team as well. You can see Kit kind of matches my aura here. But uh, just about a minute to go and then we'll get started. You can see data in the top left corner of your screen and uh, that is going to tell you the power that I'm putting out, my cadence and my heart rate. Heart rate is usually a good indicator of how hard it is. So my max heart rate is about 188 and that would be sort of like what I would hit after the end of a sprint. So about 10 seconds to go gonna wind it up put a little more power to the pedals here we go we start fast in kiss you see Rickard over there on the left going hard Hodges as well all right I'm gonna feather this for them Four laps of the flat course. So every time you see us go through this banner here, that is one lap. Here we go, lap one, KRT Eraser Focus.
Okay, on the front, don't want to be there. Want to be close to it, but not on it. I don't know who that is. Man, flat. Sir has a lot of hills. For a flat course. This is going to be hard throughout those first three or four minutes are tough and it ain't over yet there's a few lumps here coming up a few more hills got to stay focused easy to get dropped in this section See it's going up again. Coming around this bend, then we got another little hill. Actually, it's a pair, two hills, back to back. Oh, it must have been Brian. Has a cold or something. I thought he meant like congested in traffic. Looks like there's a split. Just sitting on. The blob always catches. You can't beat the blob. All right, it's finally settled down after about six minutes. We've got three minutes, maybe five minutes till we do it all again. So just like real bike racing, it's all about controlling your effort and conserving your energy. So the main way I'm doing that right now is staying with the pack because there's an aerodynamic benefit. I'm behind other riders. <laughs> Excuse me. See, I'm not too congested to race. I'm behind other riders, creating an aerodynamic benefit. If I get dropped, I'll be having to do this work on my own and I will certainly not be going 32 miles per hour. So 
So that's the main thing I'm doing. The second thing is I'm not instigating attacks. I am not closing gaps either. So there's a gap that formed just there and uh, the group was split, right? But I continued to draft in my pack. It was chasing and knowing that they were chasing, I just upped the intensity just a little bit to stay with them. And by that I was able to get reattached to this main bunch. We now have a minute gap on the chase. Going through some dust right now. I will tell you, the dust is makes racing hard because you can't really see the wheels as well. And if it's strung out, like it often is in the other direction, that's a really good place to force a break or split the bunch. The way the game works right now, brakes aren't such a good idea. So you wanna try to split the pack so you still have people with you and thus you can take advantage of the blob. Also the game likes to decide where you are on the road, left to right. And it'll tell you things like that, like, oh, there's a gap. But in real life, you'd never just randomly ride on the left side when everybody else is on the right. So that's a real weakness of the platform right now. Like I said, not expending energy until I need to. We have a big hill coming up and it's gonna split the race. So I gotta be ready. for the comments Pat and Johan on Facebook so we're almost to the hill I want to stay close to the front
All right, almost the end of lap one. pretty settled but we have some hills coming up little bumps they often string out the pack and splits can form first one coming up it's a long drag By the grace of the drafting gods, I'm on the correct side of the road. Pace is going up, losing spots, trying to match the pace. You're not moving up, you're moving back. Counterattack. It's annoying that that guy just did that. Because now people are chasing. And the guy's on a fake setup. A flyer. Power Ranger. Too bad you need one minute power, Dave. Look, man, you already race. Come on, Luckman, get in the wheel.
Got a couple lumps here. The group's legs are loaded. Must be Dave. So far, so good. The legs back here are not so good. Back of the group's getting lazy. Gotta be. Biggest thing about racing is to not think. You gotta practice at it such that thinking is no longer an option. You just do what needs to be done. So that's why I try not to look at my heart rate because then I'll start thinking. I don't want to think. Got a left cramp or left calf issue. So I did four pretty hard days and then took a day off yesterday. And I probably should have just gotten on to spin for like 30 minutes. Because even though I warmed up today, I'm a little bit tight in the calves. If you are not warming up for Zwift races, I used to not do it. I would say try it out. It helps a lot. Okay, so the pace has been settled now for about almost five minutes, which means the strongest riders are not pushing each other's limits. Therefore, they have more reserves now, again, to make a move. So we wanna be ready. You always know where it's gonna happen. Anytime it goes uphill. And we have the added challenge of probably about four minutes of hills in a row. So you just have to stay on it every lap through the SE section. If you're just joining us, this is Zwift, the virtual cycling platform. All the avatars you see are real people pedaling bikes of various sizes and makes and models. We're racing right now, lap two of four. We've got about 15 miles to go. We've done 11 so far. Massively multiplayer online cycling. First of its kind. I'm 
So we're all taking advantage of a drafting algorithm right now that allows us to go easier in the bunch than we would if we were on our own because riders in front are pushing the air out of the way. And yes, we are in an underwater tunnel right now. How cool is that? Look, a whale. So pretty soon we climb out of here and I expect it to get hard there. I see James at the back. I'm gonna try to move up a bit here. Yang Wu's off the front, not good. Not good. Here we go. Come on, Simon. He's done. good on the wrong side of the road.
Wow. Those of you familiar with Zwift know how close I was to getting dropped right then. Oh my gosh, what a race. Lap three. Finally, my wits back about me. Brutal pace there. I was so close to losing the back. And you can tell riders are tired because they're, look at this, Creel letting a stupid gap open. I, I'm sure that wasn't Jeff's fault, that was the other guy. The B rider, not. Riders drop left and right. 10 second gap. Look, many. Oh, Lookman's dropped.
Good job, Dorf Simon. My teammate Russell back there closing it down. Skyler, isn't it a little early for you? Skyler lives west coast. It's 3.30 at his time. I know there's guys in this group that can do what just happened again. All right, so we're coming into the last lap, eight miles ago. This is the Kiss Racer Focus. I'm on the Kiss Racing team. Now I'm not riding the Tron because I had a theory that the Tron was causing some of my drafting at woes. Really worried about this hill coming up. I would say this is where the pack is going to get split to bits because people are not pushing on the pedals, which means they're tired. And if you're behind the wrong person, you're out of luck. There it is.
All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm dropped. Ouch. Four point five to go. Riding my pace.
Oh. Not much to say guys, I'm just trying not to blow up. right then I got dropped going into lap four now we're finishing up lap four I'm by myself as you can see harder racing about a mile to go. Tells you how fast we were. The chasing group is four and a half minutes back from me and I'm dropped. Fast though. 
mile to go. Legs are on fire. to go. that's over with. All right, everyone. That was the KRT Racer Focus here. Swift Community Live. Just to recap, this is the virtual cycling platform, massively multiplayer online. All the bikes you see, or all the riders you see, are people, real people like me, on bikes connected by a wireless uh, protocol to their computers and iOS devices. And we're out here enjoying the sport of cycling in all different kinds of ways. The way we were doing it today was a race. Uh, it's a kiss race. Really fast start, hard first six minutes, settled back, second lap was easy. Third lap was from another planet. The third lap was unbelievably hard. We had probably six or seven minutes straight of just absolute full gas racing. There's some really strong riders in the bunch that just make it really hard. There's something up with the network or something because the drafting is just an absolute mess. It steers you on the wrong side of the road. You're right behind somebody on your screen, but the game doesn't think you're drafting because your rider's sitting up. Or your, your rider's sitting up, it thinks you're drafting, but you're, you're sliding off the back. Something's going on. So that makes it really, really hard and everybody's under the same circumstances, but uh, if you're just on the borderline of fitness like me, man, it just snaps that elastic so fast. I was really happy with being able to stay through the first three laps, but on the fourth lap, I was just out of position coming out of the ocean tunnel. You really wanna be close to the front. And then through this section, you see I'm on a 1.4% ramp right now. It just stays on all the way up through that tunnel there, so it it turns coming out of the ocean into like a, I don't know, basically like a two minute all out effort. Once you get over this hill though, you just keep going up and down hills, so people keep surging it over the top of the hills to carry speed, it just strings out the pack, and then you uh, get snapped off the back real easy, and that's what happened to me today. Just did not have the legs or the lungs to keep in there with these really strong riders. So that's what makes this game a lot of fun, is it pushes you to your limits. I don't think you've ever seen somebody get their heart rate up to, if you're new to Zwift, you probably haven't seen somebody get their heart rate up to 180 beats. 
uh, beats per minute while playing a video game before, but that's what we do here on Zwift Community Live all the time, especially on the KRT Racer Focus here where you get that first person view into Zwift Racing. So that's going to be it for me. I uh, hope to be back Tuesday. I'm riding a century on Sunday, so I'm going to take the next couple of days to just rest up. Never done 100 miles before in Zwift or in real life, so that's going to be interesting. Really looking forward to it. I'll let you all know how it goes this Tuesday, 6.15 a.m. Eastern. That's it for me. Zwift Community Live, signing out.